Brave is about, in a nutshell, um, a child's struggle with finding themselves. Uh, more specifically, their struggle in reconciling how the world sees them versus how they see themselves. And the true definition of bravery, I believe, is, is looking then inside yourself and finding the answer. Because it's going to be not one or the other, but something kind of combined and new and different. And if you can face that and accept that, that's what actually being brave is about. Merida is our teenage heroine. Um, she uh, uh, has all the teenage angst as a teenager would have. Um, she is, you know, just by circumstance, a princess in this kingdom. So she finds herself having responsibilities uh, that normal teenagers don't usually have. But I think that a, a teenager, those of us who, who were teenagers, could, could remember back to when I had to mow the lawn or do chores, and I didn't want those responsibilities. I just want to get out and play and have fun with my friends and explore. And, and you know, it's that, it's that time in youth where we're on the cusp of being an adult. And Merit is on that cusp of being an adult, and she doesn't know who she is exactly yet and wants that time to find out. Merida's issue is that she's of age to marry into one of the other clans to keep this alliance, to keep the strength of the kingdom intact, to prevent it from breaking apart and going their separate ways and, in, in a sense, becoming weaker groups. So one of the rules of the time, of the Middle Ages, was you would marry your children to other clans or other kingdoms, you know, the English would marry their people to the French, the French would marry the English and the Germans and the Spaniards and stuff like this to kind of keep these alliances. Because I wouldn't dare attack you if you had my daughter or break the treaty and you wouldn't dare attack me if I had your son, you know. So in come the lords, right? Macintosh, MacGuffin, and Dingwall, right? They are arriving to bring their sons to sue for the hand of Princess Merida. In the movie, there's these themes of family and bravery. We have the the other clans, uh, the Macintosh, the Dingwall, the MacGuffin. Um, so that's a large extended family. And in in the Middle Ages, you would have you know, and in Scotland, you would have the chief of the clans, and the clans would rally around you because together you were stronger together than individual in case invaders or trouble came. So it was this uneasy alliance and who was the boss, uh, you know, who wore the pants in the family basically and would that change and how would that change? It's the same kind of dynamic as in a, as in a family, you know, who's really in control or are we looking for control or can we get along and, and are we friends? Are we looking out for each other? Do we have jealousies and envy? So all those dynamics that you find in a typical family, you're gonna find in a kingdom family as well.